whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see. I also played a lot of the Rune Terra, and I finished watching. I don't have anything to say about Rune Terra. It's good. You should try it. It's a fun card game. Doesn't have characters you like in it, but it's fun to play the cards. Um, and I I watched that them their Loki series. Uh, with the Marvel. Have you watched the Loki series with the Marvel? No, I had a decision and it was to either, I was because I was waiting for it to finish and now that it's done, I was like, mm -hmm. okay, so now um, me and Punch Bomb can, you know, go through this and it was like, well, it's either that or Space Jam and then I said, well, let's just do Space Jam so that like my, my mentions can be safe. Oh, I watched both of those. Cool. Like, Loki, I still, th I'm, 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 we're going to do, but, like, Space Jam is, like, it's a single sitting thing, and yeah. there's definitely no, um, there's no way to avoid it, and mm -hmm. she's gotten used to the part of my life where it's like, no, you don't understand, we have to watch this now, because we can't not, we can't yeah, enter a world, it's law. I'm it's unable to, to enter Space the world. Jam. I'm unable to enter the world where these things come out and, like, you happen to miss it the week of release because it's just, it's over. Your feeds are so, over. Fun fact. Um, when I had deleted my VODs and was very sad uh, and I was kind of moping around, uh, Paige, uh, you know, gave me a pat on the back and said, well, that was stupid. You shouldn't have done that. So I'll tell you what. I will punish you. And then you will feel better. And I'm like, what? And she's like, we're going to sit down and watch Space Jam. Mm -hmm. And so I had to watch the Space Jam. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's why I watch Space Jam. Do you want to talk about Space Jam first? And then I'll just talk about Loki for five minutes? Or do you want to do it the other way around? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's no, that's that's fine. Um, I, I <laughs> Space Jam, for at least for my side of things, is an extra weird uh, uh it's an extra weird property in this house because um punch mom is somebody who has a lot of blind spots uh, uh, of media in her life yes um this has become an established thing it's known there's no surprises here you know uh and i've i've you know shown some cool stuff or some things that are just kind of like quintessential here and there like we sat and we went through like star can you, wars can you hold on a second woolly Mm -hmm. Are you failing to floss off camera? I forgot how. This is the this is pathetic. Get out of here. All right. <laughs> uh, you were saying, Holy. <laughs> uh, so, it it definitely came as as no surprise that uh, she didn't see Space Jam one. Uh. So I was like, okay, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be a, a part of this discussion here. And I was like, ah, eh, you want to go watch it beforehand? Probably doesn't matter. I think it'll be fine. Um, and then I, I was reminded because I, I remember when we we're I kind of said, okay, let me just give you the brief, quick cliff notes on it. I gave her the cliff notes on what happened in one, and I'm like, I, it's probably not gonna matter because this is a sequel with different people and different shit. And it's probably gonna barely reference the original, but. Um, Here's what it is, right? And um, then I, I went like, oh, and you know, uh, here, like, so, and, and I was kind of, we were talking about, I was trying to establish, like, how popular this thing was. And I was like, man, you missed out on a huge one because it's all of the memes you must have encountered. It's all of the things. It's, it's, it's out there. The website, we've talked about the fact that it never updated over time, you know. And I was like, yeah, for example, you know, I believe I can fly. It's like, yeah. And I'm like. That's from Space Jam. That song That's that you Space know? Jam the Space song. Jam song. And she's like, what? No. Are you sure you didn't just hear that, like, on the radio and then, like, you're young and so you attributed it to it because you were too small? And I was like, I can't. I'm like, what? <laughs> no, how do I? Space Jam song. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm, and I'm having a moment where I'm like, okay, how do I explain how ridiculous that is <laughs> you know of a premise and then i was like same thing i was like you know uh fly like an eagle right same thing space jam and she's like yeah and she's like no she has a moment she's like yeah no what if the, those songs the, what I, what if those songs were just popular and you were just a, a young kid associating them and i'm like i need someone else in now, the room right now to back me up because 
I don't know what to do here, and I and like and I can't just stand and dunk forever on how ridiculous this premise is. And I'm trying to explain. I'm yeah, like, yeah, you can. And I'm you like, you can do it all day. I'm trying to stop something. Do you realize that's like me humming, uh, and you going like, are you sure that's from Star Wars? Like, it's 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 crazy what you're saying, right? And I'm like, I don't. And I'm I'm just I'm being thrown for a loop here, and I'm like, something's. What the fuck is happening? This is weird. You're being and then gaslit. I'm being gaslit a little bit, right? And I'm like, why is this such an impossible thing for you to believe? Like, you had a major blind spot in the form of Space Jam. And then I was reminded of a conversation I completely forgot where we were talking about Michael Jordan right. some point in the past. And there was a picture of him, and she didn't recognize who it was. And I went, that's the most recognizable athlete on planet Earth. Well, like, for the audio listeners, I can't do it because I'm currently <laughs> doing it. Can you describe the look on my face when you said that it is, it is, didn't it is, know who Michael Jordan was? It is a squint. <laughs> it is a South Park X eyes squint like um, i feel like my fate like i just ate a mental lemon and i was like wait back up what and i How? completely forgot this conversation happened i must have deleted it but we had a conversation where she didn't recognize him and i was like that's crazy that doesn't make sense what do you mean and she was like, oh, well, you know, and then kind of like, you're just like, yeah, well, you just, I, I'm sure if you're a sports person, you know who it is, but otherwise not really. Literally and I'm like, no, 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 like, no, 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 so I understand you're no. in a pocket bubble of reality. No, yeah, but there are example, sir. But that, no, but that's, that's not an excuse. But, but that's what I'm saying is like it, it. This is international. This is the globe. It doesn't. There are people around the world in countries that don't fucking know anything about basketball that know who that, what that face is. It, it, it's crazy, right? And then that got to the point where it was like she's like I. I think it was like she's like. I bet you. I'm like, I bet you. If I show it to my friends, like they won't know either, or something like that. Oh, and I'm yeah, like, let's and I'm do like, that. get on the fucking mess. Get on the phone. Send it to all your friends, <laughs> and let's see what happens. And He's yeah, the one who brought it up. Of course. And the ass got blown out, and all of her friends are like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> <laughs> and I just. Like, I completely deleted this conversation from my mind. So now it's coming back as we're sitting here. And I'm trying to explain that I believe I can fly comes from Space Jam. And I'm like, oh, right. You're this, you're, you've been men in black flashed into not knowing who the most famous athlete in the world of all time is. And I just, like don't know why you have this particular level of fucking blinder on for it but um it was pretty it was pretty nuts and i just i really am just like i need backup here i can't i can't just i can't just sit here and it can't just be me i you know what i mean um a, a, anyway a, and it was just like yeah something where we, we eventually i was just like i'm like okay well it is it is what it is it's fine it probably doesn't matter we can just watch this movie anyway and then wait, we did. Wait, hold on. What, did, she, did she? Like, are you guys watching the movie? And she's like, "Who is this rabbit person?" No. Eventually, <laughs> I was able to, through my sheer incredulity, convince her that, like, yes, this music is from this, and yes, this basketball player is famous, and yes, the reason why I know it is because I've fucking seen the movie as many times as most other people in our peer group have seen it which is countless and i've also listened to that soundtrack top to bottom because it's one of the only audio cassettes i had back in the day next to the lion king soundtrack and where'd all yankovic bad hair day and like of course you know the fucking 
like, it, like, I don't know. Like, what do you want me to tell you? It's like, yeah, it's fucking Space Jam. It's Here, quintessential. Here's a website this is crazy. that randomly Who the fuck does the Space, Space Jam, Jam theme into 400 other songs? It's insane. It's completely insane. And I'm just, you know, and I'm like, I, I don't know how to establish to you the pressure of this, like, mimetic, shared cultural experience that the entire planet has that is one michael jordan and two space jam i i don't know where to go or what further conversation to have like this this works and she really just, well she had to in... take my word for it okay all right okay uh, that's so watching that must have been weird not really, because it doesn't matter that the old movie exists. It's as expected, you know? It was its own thing. Yo, that movie is kind of lame, the new one. It's literally just Space Jam inserted. It's 2021 Space Jam. It's what nah, a movie... It's, it's, no, because, like, it's... It's slightly different. But it's I'm not what defending a, it in any way. But it's, it's the... It is, it is as 2021... As Space Jam is 1996. No, I, I disagree. Because it's more than just new Space Jam. It's ready to Space Jam Player 2. So that was the part right around the, the 10 or 15 minute mark or wherever it was that it starts, you start seeing all the cameos that are not Looney Tunes. And... There's a, there's a feeling that this thing goes for. And I guess, whatever, we're going to talk about Space Jam, folks. All right? I'm going to spoil Space Jam for everyone in this audience. Okay. I don't care, and you shouldn't. So there's a thing where what they're going for is... And this is why I say 2021, mind you, because it's not just the updated references, the memes are in place, the screenshots, all the things, the players are replaced, and so on. But no, it's this part too, where uh, you're going for a thing of, oh, that's hilarious, look at the reference to the thing that I recognize is the feeling they want to go for. But we both pa we paused it and looked at each other and had a moment of like, oh my god, Everything is owned by everything. This yeah. is horrifying. We are heading so. for... We are already in the the super corp. It's all Disney, and if it's not Disney, it's WB. And everything you know and everything you love has been purchased by this group. And like, hey, look, it's all the characters you recognize because they literally have the fucking life... They, they have their hands on everything. There is nothing that is not there that doesn't belong to either them or Disney. And it's terrifying. I have a Socratic argument to make. I would like to ask you a question. Wooly, who do you think this movie is aimed at age bracket wise? Uh, I would imagine you're looking at 10 to 24 very online very 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 twitter using people so teens to young adults zoomers if you would right who are gonna lose their shit over austin powers which is a movie that came out when they were like zero to five the matrix Casablanca, a movie that predates everyone in this room and talking about this in our chat. Yeah, I'm guessing the play there is no. It's those are the things that people older or who are around for the first Space Jam will recognize. And the people who are in that target audience will have heard of them. And that's all. And, and that's you know what? And they and the. The extent to which they reference those things is about as much as the people would have heard of them. For example, The Matrix is a room with people with shades and jackets on dodging bullets. Right. Yeah. What about 
some good old fashioned ultra violence. <laughs> Let's just make Were sure. Were there droogs in the background? To get. They are the front row behind I, the fucking basket. I didn't notice them because I was staring at it, the clown. They. They. Oh. The fucking or Pennywise, noted rather. drug addicted gang rapists, the droogs. Yep. Hanging out. At this child's basketball game. Yep. Now, I want to point out that Pepe Le Pew is a Looney Tunes character that I really liked in my youth. But nowadays, I can kind of see why he's not so popular. He doesn't really show up so much anymore. A, a creepy sex pervert Frenchman. Mm -hmm. But the droogs are there! The droogs! Standing next to the Night King. By the um, way, Game of Thrones, did you know Game of Thrones, though? Game of Thrones? <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, uh, I think Fox Cade put up a clip that perfectly sums it up. He grabbed a one-minute clip, which is... The Fury uh, Road? The, the, like, Austin, it goes from Fury Road to Austin Powers to Casablanca to Rick and Morty in 60 seconds. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... It like it is. It's it wants to hit you with an emotion, and it's not giving me the emotion it thinks it is giving me. It's terror. It's absolute terror at the mass purchase and mass ownership of everything, all the all the things exactly, and that, which is also Ready Player One and Two, which is Emoji Movie, which is to. Uh, uh, Wreck-It Ralph, right? All of that stuff. That is the 2021-ness to me. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's um, the most modern day thing about it is, oh, that's what this kind of movie is now. Is it, look at all the things. Look at the Megacorp. Look at the Nabisco. So, look at the it's, GE it's, Viacom. It's funny because, like, people are saying 1996 Space Jam was just as bad. Um, and there's a lot that is the, the same. Um, they're both ad-filled nightmare shit fuel. Like, the difference is, and this is really important, the difference is between the times. In 1996's Space Jam, Michael Jordan is wearing Nikes, and he's going to eat at Burger King with a McDonald's in the background, and he's going to drink a Pepsi that had, like, a big fucking Pepsi logo that's facing the camera, right? And it was that type of product placement advertisement right the the equivalent of 2021 style with tw you know 1996's products would be going to pepsi world and meeting pepsi man yeah yeah right like it, it's 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 very different and i think the reason why it's it's so like like it hurts me like to watch in the second one is because of the editing right the, all the product placement in, in, in 1996 was, like, in the shot. It was a movie, but then mm -hmm. the, the, there would just be filled with products on the screen. Mm -hmm. Or they'd be talking about them. In this, like, you go 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 to Fox Kate's Twitter. That clip is perfect. They're talking about who to get on the team, and then it smash cuts to Michael Myers in the full screen. Yes, yes. Like, doing Austin Powers shit. And, like... It keeps happening. So and that the editing is so manic that it made me like fucking anxious. Well, so that part of the rec the recruiting part is where I'm like, okay, right after the after the horror of everything is everything and owned by everything, right? And like, I think I made a reference, a Harry Potter reference, like seconds before it showed up on screen. Um, yeah. But like, man, they call out Harry Potter world like three times. So this, so when they're doing the recruiting part, and I'm like, okay, that's happening. There, like, there's almost a bit of a like, wow, that's fucked up. Just, just like take in how much of how much of this is all like, you know, the megacorp, and then it yeah. goes by, and you're like, okay, sure, and that's probably so that people who are our age, can, uh, you know, everyone and all the millennials can be like, hey, it's the thing, you know. 
and people also and this is and, and let's be real who are lebron's age so that he knows what those things are too and i'm sure to some degree like he's like he'd be like oh yeah that's the thing i know what that is that's fun right sure you get those in, those references in there and, and and ultimately then you you can imagine you've you've filled your quota of reminding the world mm -hmm. that uh yeah. it, it sauron has obtained the one ring um <laughs> but then you go back to it again and again and again and then when you have to get a crowd to watch the game you fucking summon all of the people again that we just referenced but now you have to see them and yeah we already mentioned the joke about king kong and, and iron giant but now we have to no they're here now you're to here. ready player one it just floods so, the frame with shit so that when the training day joke gets made it's like and he's we have him there because you have to remember this that, is, this that is sauron the has part. the one ring this is the best part when when algae rhythm played by Don, Don Cheadle. Cheadle makes the King Kong ain't got nothing on me and King Kong goes fussy. Paige looked at me and was like, what is that? What is he saying? I'm like, it's a training day reference, which is, as I'm saying it, even more confusing to me. Why would you be talking about training day? in this child's fantasy f basketball game. Like, who is that? Like, that's not for me. No, but here's I the like thing. I like training day. But here's the like, thing. What the fuck? But, but here's where you have to give up on that line of thought, is the movie is also memeing and referencing, or it's, it's attempting to meme and referencing at a mile a minute. So they're throwing it all out there at the wall, okay? That's and I guarantee enough. you, I guarantee you there's a billion things that you didn't recognize that are from even more random obtuse things or even basketball things and moments. Like there's um a, a, a gentleman in our chat who pointed out that the movie's editing feels like you're watching TikTok on autoplay. And <laughs> like I think I think that's too close to reality. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think the movie was probably edited that way on purpose. Um, there's there's tons of shit where you're like, oh, they're like like even just like simple like Twitter LeBron memes where like he makes the 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 the, the pissed off, angry, confused face where like he specifically does that for a split second, right? That's a reference to something. Or when Lola lands and has her arms spread out, that's a real screenshot of like a of a, a, a moment where like LeBron is dunking in the background, you know, and they're like recreating a, again, another like a, a meme, a moment that you kind of, that you either recognize or you don't. And there was a, a point where I was, I like, I was mentioning what these things were to punch mom. And I just stopped <laughs> at a point. Cause it's like, what, what are we going to do? Sit here all night. What's the fucking point? There was the, you know, that movie app thing where people were mo review movies. It's got, got a lot of black background and like green text. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of it, but I saw a review of it. Uh, Paige showed it to me that she had found, which I think was like the best review of anything I've ever seen. Which was, <laughs> there was some kid in my theater who who freaked out so bad that Big Chungus was on screen. Mm -hmm. His mom had to take him out of the theater. I forgot the rest of the movie on the way home. <laughs> exactly. Precisely. <laughs> A hundred percent. And the fact that the algorithm is literally the bad guy, it's like, yeah, they, they're just, they're leaning all into that, right? But here's the part, too, that is also, um, like, it's, the, it's so weird in that it has an approach to things where in the movie, we're looking at them and they're, two, and they're animated, right? They're 2D. And there's a moment where everyone gets turned into 3D. And they're turned yeah. into big 3D begrudgingly and angrily because they don't want that. And the movie yeah. itself is like, oh, boo, here comes the big CG. But then it just does it. And like, and it's like, no, but we're not. 
not going to do this because yeah, it's a, also, it's a modern day movie and the Disney movies that you might have grown up with and have fond memories of as a child don't exist anymore because nowadays people who have grown up have fond memories of 3D as their childhoods. Tangled and Frozen yeah. are the things now. So we and have also, you're not going to make a 2D animated movie like full Space Jam style in 2021. You have to have 3D. So they're like we're going to do it even if we're going to make fun of it. If you've seen the bits of the movie, the the biggest downer of that is that they're like, no, not CG. And it's like the movie looks like much better in motion and in clarity when it's a 2D animated film. Mm -hmm. For the first half of the movie, the mm -hmm. tunes are all in 2D animation and it's pretty high quality 2D animation. And... The bit where LeBron goes to Toon World and hangs out with Bugs for about ten minutes looks like a looks like a good movie, and the the CG looks just like twenty twenty one. It looks like a bad video game, which might be super meta. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe uh, because I'd the also like to bring forth some of Paige's complaints into this because she had some some ringers lebron is lebron's whole storyline is about there's no time for fooling around i got you got to work hard and fundamentals right but like lebron is portrayed like an absolute insane idiot where like the tunes can summon trains and multiply themselves and Correct. are and can't die Correct. and are magic yes are just magic yes and he's looking at yosemite sam and he says put away your guns we're gonna play fundamental basketball against hydro man yes who at one point dribbles his entire body through the like you're not gonna break hydro man's ankles with a twist bro just use the, use the looney tunes magic chaotic like it's, neutral it's legitimately bad forces on your side yes um so what i found really like so i just on the the note last note on the cg thing um which was telling again in this weird meta way is like so everyone is begrudgingly being pulled into the 3d world but now we're gonna watch a 3D movie because you have to release a 3D movie. You You're, have to. No, has to be. The, the people spending the money on this are not gonna accept it not being that. They're not gonna accept it just being traditional animation. Kids are probably gonna look at it and, and go like, what the fuck, I want my 3D, All right? That's, there's probably an audience out there that feels that way. Let's be real. Um, yeah. The game that his son makes that you're watching early on in the movie shows you little CG game characters running around on a on a court that look like a pretty like a video game pretty it's like pretty, like NBA jam yeah um pretty advanced for an indie game <laughs> but but there's some you know whatever some video game quality 3D models running around mo doing moves and shit in the game right then when they get their in real life now, or not in real life, but in the server verse, and they bring out the the, the 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 goon squad, and they look the same quality as what was supposed to be the video game early on, but now yeah. you're supposed to sell sell it as them being realistic, standing next to real LeBron. Again, it's a weird kind of telling moment of like, oh, they're not even going to, they're not trying to sell that this is like realistic CG. It's just bad and it's aware that it's bad and they're g leaning in to it. And then, D and then Don Cheadle is again, just bad CG at the end. And it's like, you're trying too hard for us to buy this as no, that's just meant to be video game graphics. Because it's clearly not. It's it's looking like Ang Lee Hulk style. Like, Looks no, no, bad. no. You want that to look like a realistic Don Cheadle. You put too much money in for it. It's 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 crossing that like pre Uncanny Valley level of like 
yeah, like uh, Angley Hulk. That's that's where my brain goes, you know. So you so but, so but but earlier on in the movie, you were aware of that being bad enough to be a video game, but now you're trying to sell it. Like, why would you do that? Does that make sense? I, I have, I yeah, I have I have two more things to add, because yeah, they look bad. Uh, one, I want to give a shout out to a company whose reference I appreciated legitimately. Nintendo, you guys are cool for letting people see a Game Boy in the trash. In the garbage. Logo on. Wow. Yeah. Legitimately shocked. I'm they... like sitting there go like, yeah, it is out the top in the middle of the trash on top of a pile of pristine paper. Pristine. Pristine. But showing a Game Boy in the trash. Now that's that's a step forward. They for the put brand. the full screen. They put the full screen background of the game happening. Bugs is moving around like they're showing you. Hey, remember Game Boy and you know. And then he tosses it out and says, "Fuck video games." And Nintendo was a okay with that. Also, I have to admit, using the old Bugs Bunny game for the Game Boy, pretty ballsy, because that game is trash. Of course it I is. I played that game. That game is fucking garbage he should have thrown that away because it was garbage <laughs> like not just not because oh, i gotta focus on balling no that game is trash also they, e3 got themselves in there somehow games. e3 got themselves in there somehow with the, yeah, with, the with the camp e3 basically not existing anymore um um, but I then the future console was where was... at the end they the end of the movie they go to like to, the kid goes to the E3 design camp and they're standing in front of like that apartment building mm -hmm. and I'm like that's not the fucking LA Convention Center. Well, this is the design school camp. Fuck off! They they it says E3 on it and it's it's pretending to be the side of the no no it's center. the it's the it's the school game oh. design camp it's not it's not the E3 E3. <laughs> um, um, they show an intent. They show a Game Boy, but then when they get to the future and they have, they show a new console. Well, I think it was just like a fictional thing, if I remember correctly. He was just on some some Switch like thing that wasn't actually. Yeah, it was, it was, it was anything. PC. Okay. Um, um. Yeah, and and my big complaint is the the the, the game. I keep that's that's how fucking fuck this movie is. I keep calling it a video game. Um. The theme of original Space Jam was like you gotta believe in yourself, right? And that's why Jordan at the end does the stretchy arm to win. And you buy right? the secret stuff, yeah. Right, but it was actually just just Moxie was internal. Yeah. Uh, the theme of of this movie is you have to be true to yourself, and LeBron demonstrates that by letting his teammates carry him to victory. Like, his big moment is someone on the court committing suicide and another teammate literally lifting him up in the air to make a regular basket where LeBron looks really cool. Yes, because LeBron is made of fundamentals and normal ball, and he can't... This world is not made for him. He but cannot succeed the, in this world. Like, it doesn't... It doesn't even mesh with its own message. It doesn't... What did LeBron learn that helped him win? Nothing. He just... <laughs> he just learned that he was being a shitty dad. Yeah. That's it. That's the theme of Space Jam 2, is LeBron James is a terrible father. Sounds about right. Also, that scene in the beginning with him, like, in the basketball court with the two kids, yo, he's an asshole. <laughs> like, he is portrayed as the most unsympathetic asshole. Oh, oh, dad. when they're, when they're, yeah, 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 yeah. No, for sure. <laughs> when they're, when they're. And the, wh and the kid, mm -hmm. the kid is the most ungrateful little fuck. The kid sitting in a room with a PC that's worth more than my house. Of course. Looking at dad going, you never do anything for me, dad. Like fuck you! You live in some kind of stupid movie mansion. Yeah, it's just it's the it's the the down to earth James Manor. You know, it's it's relatable. It's <laughs> they say ball and as, a ball comes shooting as, out. As for you know. uh, as for LeBron and Zendaya, who played Alola, me and Paige and Eli came to the conclusion that they did in fact read all of their lines. Yes, <laughs> yes, they did. They sure did. And for that, 
They get a little golf clap. I think he also he, threw. I think there was also a line in there literally about him going, uh, uh, athletes acting in movies that never works out or yeah, whatever. As he says it in the flattest <laughs> tone of voice possible. And you're like, mm. uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to hear some, some cringe shit that'll make you go, mm? Uh, the Lola actor, the real Lola Bunny actress, actor. I don't know which one it is anymore, but uh, she actually uh, voiced the role and did all the lines, and then they uh, dubbed over her with Zendaya at one Zendaya what? came on project. What? Yep. Oh, that's fucked up. Yep. Wow, that's disrespectful. Uh, was she high? Was she brought? What was she hired? Like, but rather. Mm. Because sometimes you hire people as like stand-ins and like temporaries, but if you're oh, hiring I'm the sorry. original, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a word from Peach Saliva, which is allegedly. Okay. If were did she was she cast? Like in you know what I mean? Like or was it like a like stand-in situation? That's fucked up. If that's what that I, says. Everything, everything, everything that I said, I said. That's all that is in my brain now. Damn, that's that's brutal. Oh, sick, dude! I just got an ad for New World from Amazon Games, pre-purchase now on Steam. I bet that'll be a hot banger. Um, and 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 you know, speaking of hot bangers, again, as to be expected, everything was, yeah, just the music, the the the. The references, everything is 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 driven. Like, okay, if you're gonna tell a movie, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a movie come out these days that is like meta in this way, it's here's and this is kind of like the same Overlord brand thing where it's like life is social media, so all stories of this type will have to be about social media from now on. And that's, that's depressing. Serious. That's actually um, the most depressing takeaway. Um, is I feel like because of what is quintessentially a social media driven childhood, these are the only stories that you're going to see. Um, unless they deliberately go out of their way to tell them in a different way or of a different time or in a different manner. You know, it's gonna become a constant thing. It fucking, that is a bleak, bleak timeline we're heading for. With all of you these, you know, my not Michael Jordan. Um, LeBron is not an actor, so I'll give him a like. I like to make fun, but he gets a pass. He's not an actor, right? Mm -hmm. Zendaya is an actor, but she's not a voice actor, so she gets half a pass. Do you know who doesn't get a pass in my mind in this movie? Don Cheadle. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this it, wow, dude. He is terrible. Terrible. Like <sighs> I Jesus get... Christ. On, like on the one hand, <laughs> knowing how good of an actor he is. I, I'm tempted. I get the feeling that it's like he's doing what he can. But on the other hand, I don't know. I don't so know. So it's either one of the two things. Either he's like, man, whatever. Just give me my paycheck. I'll just bang it out in one. Or it's... It's like the, the, the Lucas way of directing. No, Don. Do it more like this. No, no. You're acting it too good do it like this though but movies like this are not are are, are built by committee and directed by committee and no it's by directed committee. by the the director of scary movie five okay well <laughs> anyway like um, a corporation sure did make this movie and we are in for a world of more corporation made feeling movies and um this is just the fifth in line, because, like I said, we've yeah. already you've already we've already had uh, uh, Ready Players, 
Wreck-It Ralph 2 and, and Emoji Movie. And it's just, yeah, yeah here's right, here, right. here comes the next one. Here we go. This is a thing. Hey, you watch it. You can tell me if I'm nuts. Was the audio quality of the dub for the characters noticeably worse during the 2D animated sequences? Um... LeBron definitely sound like he sounded like he was reading lines on the court. <laughs> okay, thank you. Cause like, but the rest were normal. Specifically, where it was like he sounds like he's not in a good booth. He's on. A, he's he sounds in a, like he's he's in a plane. He's on the road. He's <laughs> and and to be fair, right? They found a way to make the movie without him for about. I don't know, two thirds? A lot. Yeah, a lot of it. Two thirds. They found a way to make it without him, you know? So, there you go. Didn't have to overcommit while actually playing, you know, in the, in the middle of a season. So, uh huh. Anyway. There, were, there was, there was, there was a 10 minute period of this movie that I unironically enjoyed. Oh, I, there's a bunch of it I enjoyed. I'm 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 not even being like I'm not I'm not even dumping ass on on the entirety of the contents of this thing but I am definitely looking at it and going this is a product of today and it can't mm -hmm. possibly ever be anything else That's we are true. trapped and this is this is my takeaway from it anyone well, who the, tried the... to do anything else would not be given access or the green light to do so. The the reason that I bring that up specifically is because the ten minutes I'm talking about, I actually really enjoyed. Which were and was then left with why couldn't the rest of the movie have been like this? And it's it starts with what I think is a really really great, like the only legitimately great reference joke in the movie, mm -hmm. which is the Michael Jordan gag. Yes. Yeah, the and then mm -hmm. and then it is followed up by the Looney Tunes getting to do Looney Tunes shit for mm -hmm. about ten minutes, and I'm like, yeah, I love the Looney Tunes, they're great. This shit, the, the Wiley e. Coyote doing stupid technical technological tomfoolery, mm -hmm. I've been laughing at my whole life, and this is a pretty good one because he gets sucked in the machine, he makes a bunch of clones, and it's horrible, but. They overplayed um, the grandma being badass bit. Yeah, they did. They That's only needed one or two, me. and then they did it like five um, times. But I hear but what you're saying. Like the most of the movie, outside of Bugs doing it for like three, four minutes, when you meet Bugs and like this bit, like the Looney Tunes just don't get to do stupid cartoon shit, which is see what I would the, want out of my Looney Tunes. And I was, uh, and also, um, like the moment. Porky starts rapping and you're like if the only way for this to not be supreme cringe is if he actually goes full 8 mile <laughs> and yeah. just just and just be, just bleep it out if you have to like fucking have him go hard NC17 for like well, it's a, a minute existing robot chicken sketch you know and then just and then censor what you must, but lean in because otherwise it's just cringe. And then unfortunately they couldn't do it. Well, they couldn't good. lean in because the committee was so, like, "Nah." Uh, my last shout out for this movie is a two-parter. There was an executive decision somewhere that Lola Bunny could not be attractive. They do everything they can to dress her down even in the hip-hop skit that we're talking about now mm -hmm. she is like dressed down and that must have come from the top because someone in the animation team decided to subvert that and had i want to say three sequences in which a giant snake woman coils around lola and calls her bunny and hisses close to her face it happened every time. It happened every time. And it is such obvious sick fetish bait that snuck through into the movie. It's um, like... Just, uh... 
keep in mind, of course, that uh, the comp that that original. Comp okay, I, 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 that's not where I thought you were going, because I thought we were going to talk no. about that. I thought we were going to talk about that. Uh, the fan art with the heavies. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, okay, I, even, I, okay. I went back and checked original Space Jam when when the cast meets Lola. She like mm -hmm. pushes up her her tank top over her shoulder. Like yeah, she no, the, she the, she kind of Jessica like, she she yeah, Jessica so. rabbits a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so it's like we're sitting there, and Paige's like, the snake lady has her again. Like a like on like. Again, like in every quarter except for the third one, the snake bitch grabs a hold of Lola Bunny and encircles her whole body and leans in and is basically licking her face, going, "Ah, I got you now, Bunny." And it's like, someone beat off to this. <laughs> Quickly, someone's beating off to this right now. Hurry up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some people in the chat saw this. I'm sure they know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, anyway, um, did you see the Game of Thrones, though? I saw it. I seen it. It was the Game of Thrones. They got it. It was in there. Look. It was really funny about they kept, they flew by Game of Thrones like two, three times, but made no effort to land and <laughs> deal with whatever crap they would have to deal with. No. I mean, they had, the, they had, they had like the, 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 the. Uh, Daenerys joke in the Dra and Drogon, like flying through space, mind you, but like we're not going there. You know, no, don't that. go down there. Nope. No.